Greetings, one and all. Welcome to the BFDI in Inanimate Insanity 2024 tour. My name is Candle. And I am the magnificent golf ball. Please, hold your applause. Before we initiate the festivities, it is of the utmost importance that you pay attention to our presentation on how to have proper theater etiquette. We want this to be an enjoyable experience for everyone, so please be mindful of those around you by respecting their personal space. All photography and video recording are strictly prohibited during the screening. If you are found recording the screen, there is a 100% chance you will be forcibly ejected from the theater. So please be present with us in the moment and keep cell phones and cameras put away until after the screening. There will not be an intermission between episodes, so please stay in your seats for the entire show. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh. If for any reason you need to leave the screening early, please be mindful of others and exit quietly. In the event of a scientific or otherworldly disaster, don't panic! Please remain calm and be sure to locate the exit that's closest to you. It's healthy to be in touch with your emotions, so feel free to laugh, cheer, gasp, or cry alongside the episodes. We love to hear your enthusiasm. Yes, but please keep your reactions at a reasonable volume so that they do not drown out the episodes. It ruins the theater-going experience for everyone else. Shh! So rude! To demonstrate the proper behavior, let's see a reactionary expert in action. Congratulations, Lewis. You're the winner of BFDIA. We thank you for taking the time to listen to these important guidelines. Everyone here has passed their theater etiquette training and is now fully certified. Perhaps if you come back later, you can get your masters. <laughs> With all that in mind, we hope you enjoy the show. the present day it's been a while but now we're back again but before we start the show let's start from the beginning once more hotel oj is the place to be everyone's there it's a constant party oj's enjoying his win when a plane comes flying on the horizon meepo has just popped up everyone's like hey what's up they land in here but as it appears season two is starting right here new contestants drop from a plane they just crashed into hotel oj slots to play seven more join the game baseball and light bulb pick team name. 19 contestants, one million dollars up on the table. They'll fight, fight breakfast for the boys if they are able. Eliminations and throwing challenges lie in inanimate insanity. Two. Off to the glacier to break the ice, which forms the grand slams and the bright lights. A friendly game of dodgeball is here, and tissue sees his end is near. Marsh is in space, and to be deceased, God go to Mars, get her back in one piece. While on Mars, bright lights find an egg. And cherries is sent away. Triathlon time in Yang House splits. Viewers vote and trophy is booed and make a pizza. Let's get cooking. Box gets out after everyone looks and plays some soccer. Kick the ball. Doe gets killed and Yin Yang has a brawl. The haunted house is home to Bo's ghost, but it might look like the end for our host. 14 contestants, one million dollars up on the table. They'll fight, fight back, let's for the prize if they are able. Eliminations and thrilling challenges lie in an HQ has a battery to fix him, so the call but go with low key. Like meets talk or they form a little team. Teams have to track through all maze. They end up tied, no elimination. Marsh ventures off to find Bo, forfeiting her place in the show. Buck up a gay suit, gets cast her vote. Nickel and balloon are both sent home. And to test tubes laboratory, find an alternate reality. Paintings made, knife as a spy, paintbrush and light bulbs say goodbye. Seven contestants, one million dollars up on the table. To get shattered, but the gems are covered. Me from remembers all of cops' drastic measures. Fans eliminate a test tube, takes the egg, but when it's just a crack, nobody is safe. Aliens take the egg and fan, and it's up to the contestants to rescue them. On 
the ship, they find the prime shimmer Returning the egg, reuniting it with their family But what they didn't see was that Taco and Mike had their own conspiracy Fan in hand, Mike wins immunity and gives it up Leaving Taco alone, the test tube sees her end as well Going off a fan through the portal Four contestants left, many years spent away Who will be the best, and who will get sent away You can't teleport either. Or rather, not of your own accord. Then I suppose I will make myself comfortable. Do you know who I am? I've been low profile for quite a while. Yes, I had always hoped to meet you, Taco. What is it that you want? I require details on the next challenge. If you're trying again to steal the million, I must inform you that Mifon does not keep it on set in the decorative suitcase. Prize winnings are wired in by the- Yes, yes, last time I thought he kept it there, very embarrassing for me. Though in fairness, it seemed like something an idiot would do. But I don't really care about the money anymore. Well, I have the challenge on file. You did not need to activate my consciousness to access it. Well, I suppose it helps me think when I have someone to talk to. I have to hope, then, that you were not alone all this time. No, I wasn't. Now, show me the file, won't you? Oh, that will be perfect. Come on, it's gotta be in here somewhere. Hey, you want to talk to us about the last vote? Hmm, you really like approaching people when they're vulnerable, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's called a random act of kindness. This one taught me. We're all here for you, Lightbulb. Really? Baseball, you'd put aside our intense rivalry as warring team captains? Uh, I never really saw our relationship that way. <gasps> Neither did I. All right, come on, let's talk. So, why'd you vote out my friend? Oh, j just coming right at it. Okay, well, like I said, it was nothing personal. But look on the bright side! Now that your team's gone, there's only one thing you can do! Feel alone? Very, very alone? That, or you win this for them. Win it for them? Yeah, yeah, I could do that. You really were close with your allies, weren't you? Eh, never really liked the word allies. Or even understood it. I mean, I, I just prefer to think of us as... That's great, Lightbulb. Alright, and with that last bit of drama cleared up, now we can just focus on playing the game. Last bit of drama? Are you forgetting about the aliens test tube said she saw? Or why Microphone just suddenly quit? Or those gems with Mephone's weird little experimental short films inside? I'm pretty sure those are his dramatic memories about carbs, but yes, those too! Okay! Yes, all that stuff is really bizarre and I don't know what we could do about it. Which is why we can't let it distract us, especially when we're this close to the end. But all that stuff happened. We can't just act like we never saw... I I've seen a bow tie like that before. I thought I was just... Everyone else could see that thing, right? Oh, this? What? What? <sighs> How'd you- <laughs> No more distractions. Aha, I found it. Good old Tubo left this to me. She said to click it if I ever get nervous. Uh, you feeling nervous? No, I just wanted to prove to you all that I'm not. Greetings, Final Four, and welcome to the penultimate challenge. Remember, it's his first challenge without assistance. Let's try to not make him feel weird about it. In today's challenge, you have to learn how to whisper. So, suitcase already lost. First of all, you have no idea, jeez. I remember when you used to be quiet. Look, you're all a lot to deal with. So I actually just took a vacation. A vacation? 
we saw you, like, last night. And for half a day, the world actually felt peaceful. But anyway, in today's challenge, you each have to make your way through the woods to meet me on the other side. And it wouldn't hurt to collect a few sticks along the way. Do we get extra points for eating the sticks? No, you, you need the sticks. Oof. This is a tough one, gang. I'm tempted. Using the sticks you've collected, you have to build a bonfire that must burn high and hot enough to reach your rope above. The first contestant to burn through their rope will be guaranteed into the finals, and the last will be immediately eliminated. <gasps> well, now that part sounds easier. Wait, what happens to whoever finishes the challenge in second or third place? Oh, they'll duke it out after, you'll see. Ha, ah, want to keep you all on your toes this time. So last time, nearly getting shot down by an alien ship? That was a flat fate experience? <laughs> Don't mention that again. On your ready, set, go! Any moment now. Are you sure this is what you want? Uh, oh, spare me your spin, you tablet tabloid. If you want to psychoanalyze someone, don't look at me. Look at them, it's so pathetic. How they run to fetch their sticks. Sure, call me polemic, unsympathetic. At least I know other tricks. Look at me and all you see is the debris of some defective outcast. A frenetic, antithetic, if poetic, little iconoclast. But I won't live in the past. I almost won this game once, you know. History is rearranged just to credit those who win the glory. So reality is changed in the edit when they spin the story. And we choose to feel this pain. And we lose more than we gain. But I will break this cycle of mistakes. Un Generation. Unfortunately, I don't have much faith in that process. Of course not. Why of course not? You believe yourself to be incapable of starting over in more ways than one. I do not know who you lost, but is it not possible to get them back? Clear the slate, start again. Are you hearing how preposterous that sounds? How do you not comprehend that for someone with my monstrous background, the whole slate has fallen apart? That is not true. So I'm turning up the heat to sauté I've a beef to get grilled But I fully guarantee that today All the beans that get spilled Won't be mine No, I'm fine Shh Now we How much fire do I need to win this thing? Eh, just that much. How high do you expect our flames to get exactly? Yeah, I'm all for setting large fires, but... Huh, you know what? I don't see a downside here. Well, you can just try to keep making the fire higher organically. Or, now that I got you all here, you can answer my questions. I mean, if you step off the platform, you automatically lose, so you might as well. Each question you answer truthfully will raise your platform and fire higher. It's a little game I like to call truth or flair.
You always did have a way with words, me phone. And you always didn't, until the day you suddenly did. What are you doing here, Taco? Planning one more scheme for all time's sake? No, I'd simply like to run this part of the challenge. But since I'm aware of how particular you are about controlling your show, I've added some incentive. <gasps> Me pad? Your assistant is fine. And if you'd like him to stay that way, I suggest you not make any sudden moves. Besides, it's hard to get more sudden than this. Uh, what are you doing? This is what she needs. You know what, Taco? Let's see how you do. Don't let this distract you. We'll get through this. Thanks. You know, I really need to hear that. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hello again, baseball, light bulb, knife, suitcase. I don't believe we've formally met. You wouldn't happen to have a million bucks inside you, hmm? Wouldn't still be here if I did, but where have I heard your voice before? Ah, yes. I suppose we did informally, invisibly meet. Hello, follow the magical talking bow tie. <laughs> Still can't believe that worked. What is she talking about? Wh why did you help me, Taco? What's to my benefit? But I'll be asking the questions today, all right? Since you're so eager though, why don't we start with you, suitcase? No, let's not. We don't have to answer any of our- Oh, me phone. What was it you said earlier? Leave the platforms you lose. Oh no, losing. There you have it. All right, suitcase. You became rather friendly with Balloon, despite your alliance preferring to keep him at, um, theoretical arm's length. Were you at all motivated to befriend him out of spite? And please do remember to be truthful. I disagreed with my alliance, but I didn't do that to upset them. I just wanted to help someone who I thought deserved another chance. Correct! Isn't this fun? Speaking of, let's turn to the last remnants of it, shall we? Oh, you mean me? Oh, shucks. Well, you know, there never are enough remnants. Alright, alright, shut up. Here's your first truth, light bulb. Do you really believe you deserve to have gotten this far, despite all of your friends being dropped before you? Oof. Cutting deep there, aren't ya? <laughs> well, yes. I think it's important that I win for my friends. For the lights! <laughs> Trickily, but do you really think you can win this all by your lonesome now without any shoulder to lean on? Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard, but like, I believe in myself and stuff. And I mean, I got my own shoulders. I have to, you know? Whoa, this thing's broken. I clearly have shoulders. That you do, but it would appear they aren't strong enough. Hey, leave her alone. The grand leader to the rescue. Let's put that leadership to the test, shall we? Do you believe you, as team captain, truly put the team ahead of yourself? You know, Nickel told me that once, and with how much I've beaten myself up over it, well, it has to be true. I suppose it doesn't have to be. What? You're, you're messing with us. A truth detecting platform doesn't lie. Now, on to Knife. Knife, do you take the rules of this game seriously? More seriously than you. Hmm, charming. Then I'm sure you'd agree. Anyone who knowingly cheats should be disqualified. Hmm, define cheating. Oh, someone who's caught receiving outside help. Or if the one who caught them receiving that outside help chose to keep it a secret. Those are two very different things. Cheating is to gain an advantage or help, as you put it. But if someone isn't getting any help themselves, well, then they're simply not cheating. Let's put a pin in that. Back to suitcase. When Baseball voted out Test Tube, he said it was nothing personal, which is also how you characterized your relationship with Nickel. Wow, you've really been stalking us, huh? Yes. Do you think he drew a fair comparison between you and Nickel and him and Test Tube? Wait, what's the problem here? What, did I use the wrong choice of words? Suitcase doesn't care about- Baseball, I voted for Nickel to stand up for myself and it went wrong. He wasn't my friend, but you resented me for it anyway. Then you chose to vote out your friend and play it off like a heroic sacrifice. I'm sorry, it's just not the same. Okay, that's fair. Look, I just want to move past this. You think we can do that? Let's find out, Baseball. Do you forgive Suitcase for voting out your best friend? You know what? It wasn't her fault. She didn't know it'd be a surprise double elimination. I was upset at the time, but I realize now she was just a victim of circumstance. So yeah, to clarify, uh, platform, I, I forgive her. 
try something different for the whole group. Now, a lot of strange situations have been occurring lately. Show of hands slash feet. Raise now if you're eager to get back to fun and games. And now if you prefer to be a killjoy getting all serious. Well, I don't appreciate that characterization, but... Don't misunderstand. I find it baffling how willing some of you are to push aside distractions. You encounter aliens and try to move on as if nothing happened. I even saw them with my own eyes. Well, what did they look like? Did they have weird hats? They looked like floating eggs, with less than kind things to say about the Meeple Company. Huh. Wow. I was already having a bad day, and then you just ignored my hat question. Is this how insufferable my random humor was? I sincerely apologize to you all. Just trying to lighten the mood. You seem a little stressed. I'm stressed? Why do you keep clicking that pen? No reason! I'm scared and I need help. All right, I've had my fun, but I suppose it's time I stop pulling my punches. Say, knife. Yo. Did you know about my presence in this game before today? In Adam and Insanity? Yeah, we did a season together. Fun memories. Not that game, this one. Did you know I was working behind the scenes of this competition and chose to not tell anyone for the last several challenges? Hmm. Define several. Yes or no? Sorry, couldn't hear you. Shoot, forgot where I was. Yes or no? Answer, or I'll tell them. They can hear it from me. Fine! Yes, I did, but I didn't- Enough! Thank you for your honesty. Knife! I'd ask if that's really true, but I, I guess we just- got our answer. Trust me, it wasn't out of any faith to her. It was to protect someone else. Who? I don't think that's my truth to tell. Ah, Knife the Protector. Quite convincing coming from the guy who used to roast Marshmallow alive. She'd always come back, didn't she? Uh, that does not make it okay. Yeah? You still feeling the pain from all those times you shattered? It means nothing. All right, so Knife's over here justifying murder. That's fun. Your best friend Nickel used to find it hilarious. Act, I remember. Enough of that silver tongue knife. You constantly try to hide behind this insufferably pseudo-intellectual wit, but the two of us know who you really are. The tough, scary brute who'll just keep talking until whoever's listening is forced to agree with him. Well, maybe that's how you see me, Miss Projector, but not them. Okay. Anyone trust him right now? No talking your way out of that one. Moving on. Suitcase, and this is just out of morbid curiosity. What exactly did you think was happening when you encountered this floating, talking bow tie in the cave? I... could kind of accept it, because I see weird things like that all the time. I don't understand. Floating bow ties? No, hallucinations. It's not exactly easy to explain, but I never could explain them. I think they happen when I'm anxious. So thanks for making this such a comforting environment. All right, I'm, I've answered the question. Suitcase, how long have you- it, it doesn't matter. At least it's out there now. Did you know she was going to say that? No, but that shows just how serious this has become. Don't you understand what the game has done to you all? Nothing is worth this. There is no winning here for anyone. Except for you, right? So you could swoop in and take your money? I admit, at first I worked from the shadows, observing you all for a chance at just some of that. Some of that. But recently, I saw this desire take me to extremes, and let's just say I've lost more than any of you. That said, you can still catch up, which is why I urge each of you to leave now, before you end up like me. Wait, leave? Listen, Taco, I was actually kind of respecting the whole therapy session, but make a twisted approach up to this point. But no one is quitting the show. Not even you? What exactly did you do on your vacation? Your time spent away from the precious game you love so much. I just wanted something new, but the game was never far from my mind. Then maybe you were staying too close. I'm serious, all of you, leave. Don't you realize now that Microphone had the right idea? So, leave! But of course, you won't do that, will you? No, it can't all have been for nothing. You'd sooner stand here and be mentally tortured with no end in sight, because in this game, there's no winning for anyone. Well, 
Looks like I won. You still don't get it. You can win your measly challenge, but at what cost? Driving away everyone who ever cared about you? Sure enough, I asked you to burn those bridges to the ground, and you gladly did everything you could to keep the fires rising, because you've been taught that's what you need to do by him. Hey, I made a game with rules. You're the one who broke them. Rules you change constantly to fit your best interests. Challenges to clean up your messes. Save Marsh, save Fan, save my amnesia. Surprise double eliminations, all meant to slowly turn you against each other for his entertainment. See now? There's no truth with him around. You all speak, but the only voice is your controllers, and even he is losing control. This is your last warning, contestants. Get out now, before he changes you too. What was, is someone else coming here? Oh, sweet, so it does work. What is she talking about? Oh, you didn't think this was just a pen, did you? No, no, it sends out a signal. Who did you contact? Does this count as one of my crew? Start talking. Well, Destu made it for me in case of an emergency, but I, I mean, I guess anyone nearby could have answered the call. No, I can't. I didn't plan for this. I- What's the matter, Taco? Afraid it's one of your old friends? Stop. Stop, you brute! You wanted us to face our truths? Then why don't you face yours? She'll be back. And we're back in the game. Sorry for that brief interruption. Now, who will be the next contestant out? Light bulb? Whoa! Painty! I didn't know it'd be you! Humga! This is the best news ever, I can't even believe this! Yeah, I got what Test Tube described to me as this emergency signal. She said I should be the one to handle it. I, I came as fast as I could. What's going on? Well, I thought we might need some saving from Taco, but now it looks like she might need some saving too. But what about you though? How's the hotel life been? Uh, you've missed a lot. But it sounds like I have too. Yeah, not to worry though. I'll make sure to win this for you. That way you don't have to be severely disappointed in me or anything. Whoa, light bulb, where'd you get that idea? Come on, it's the truth. It's not right that you didn't make it here. The least I could do is win in your place. Light bulb, I'm proud of you no matter what. I'm just glad you're okay. Oh, like actually? Well, I'm just glad you stopped by. Baseball has completed the challenge. There's only one spot left. Cough, cough, I say. Oh, uh, I better let you get back to it then. Paintbrush, wait. There's nothing I want more than to win this game. <laughs> Had a feeling that would work. Now that you're back, I don't want you to be not back. Knife is close to the finish, but it's still anyone's game. You are lost. And with that, Lightbulb is officially eliminated from this competition. And you have to wear this dunce cap on your way out. First paintbrush, and then my own weird hat? Today's really picking up. Well, uh, I guess this is it. I'm happy for you, Lightbulb. But what was it you were trying to tell me before? About your allies? Oh, just that they're the ones that give you strength. But where they get it from, <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> I really missed all your nonsense. And I missed all your sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had me worried back there. Aren't you forgetting something? Just, just give me a minute. <laughs> Revive her. Now. She wants to end the show. I don't want to lose everything here. Let's just make sure we can do this safely. No, no conditions. It is one thing for you to not trust me, but... You hold her life in your hands. You are bringing her back, right, Mephone? Of course. I thought... Today, I had hoped she might convince you all to do what I am about to do. Sir, consider this my formal resignation. <laughs> Well, hope you three enjoyed the Truth or Flare Challenge. In it, I combined my two favorite things, honesty and fire. But Taco had a point. I haven't been honest enough with you all. Hey, phone, we know you're scared by even the thought of seeing cops again. 
I don't know what your vacation was, but it seems to me like a way to put all this off. And I get that. But if you're finally ready to talk, we can face whatever comes next together. Oh, I just meant I was hiding a twist. A little twisty twist for my show. Pause for effect. And resume. Yeah, suitcase, knife and baseball have to duke it out for your approval, cause I'm gonna make you pick who joins you in the final two. Haha, <laughs> yes, been sitting on that one all day. What? Oh my gosh, I, I hate you. No, I really hate you. Why do you do this to me? Cause I'm a real scamp who lives for the drama. Now pick your favorite friend. <sighs> Sorry, suitcase. But now I know this isn't you. It's just him and his surprise rule changes. No, I'm not gonna hide behind the game like Mephone does. This is still my decision. It was with Nickel, and it will be now. Ooh, that's good. Keep it going. I just need one more truth from each of you. I can help with that. Knife, on the talk, when you said I should make my presence known, did you really want to help me? Or did you just think it could get you further in the competition? I wouldn't have said it if I didn't think it could be advantageous. But in that moment, I didn't like what I was seeing, and I wanted to help you. And Baseball, do you understand why I voted for Nickel? Why I left the Alliance? You weren't getting the respect you deserved, and I'm sorry I let that happen. That's not what a leader should do. I get that now. It's time to choose, Suitcase. Who are you bringing with you to the finals? I choose... Knife. Knife, when you talked to me on the dock that day, it gave me strength. And I realize now that's what an alliance is to me. And I'll always be grateful for that. <sighs> Baseball, I... It's okay. No, really. I wanted to... Suitcase, you don't have to explain it. I don't... I don't want to make you any more anxious than you already are. <laughs> I guess both of the captains went down with their ships. No. The two team captains couldn't be any more different. You just missed your crew. The Grand Slams, though? What, between Mike, Balloon, Suitcase? I clearly missed everything about mine. Today I think an old friend tried to show us that she's drowning. If you want to be a good captain, you should make sure you're really looking. You could have left whenever you wanted, couldn't you? No, because you still need my help. <sighs> no more hiding. Hey, don't beat yourself up. He took it pretty well. Because of my last truth from today, he went easy on me. But I hope you don't. Hmm. I've known you had a strong presence in the game for a while now. Today didn't make me see you any differently. I wish I could say the same for you. Why didn't you tell anyone about Taco? I'm not sure how much you want to help others, or if you're just messing with us for your amusement. If that's what you think, then why'd you choose me? Well, I guess you can call it a random act of kindness. <laughs> So, Suitcase stabbed another friend in the back. You hate to see it, folks. St stabbed Meanwhile, poor Knife over here just got carried to the end of the game, holding so much inside, speechless on the sidelines. Talk about role reversal. Nope, don't like any of that. So, folks, at long last, my show, Inanimate Insanity 2, has come down to its final two contestants. Who will win, the strong one or the weak one? Which is which? Hey, I'll let you decide. Wow! See y'all next time, or should I say last time, for the final episode of Inanimate It's... Animation!
work. Just one barrier after another. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Ow, ow, stop, ow. Nearly there, tree. I've got you. Guys, marker, a go tree. It's about to... Ah! I... Ugh. We can't hear you. We're climbing too quick. Stop! I demand you get off right now! Hop, 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 hop. Ooh, where are I'm we? I'm a map of all the locales in Doiki. Wow, I can't believe this has been here all this time. And now it can be the place I hand out prizes because it's time for cake at steak. But maybe I'll quickly recover everyone. Here, I'll do that and, and let's just get to cake at steak already. Hey, too! When you bake a cake, decorate and take it to the players who are safe. That's how you know it's cake at steak. Welcome back, gang. Since Just Not escapes their teammates' head last, their cake at steak is up first. Today's cake is an all exciting zoom down Bell Street. And price tag, my new friend, might not get to experience that. In the middle of talking there. But no, you both get to experience it, as Book received 18,526 votes. Price tag sits at 17,763 votes. Go slide. Whee! Down to the bottom two! Wow, already? You guys really keep losing, huh? Gee, I wonder why! It's one of life's greatest mysteries! It's time to see who is out of the game! Bommy, Pillow, let's show the votes! And there you have it! Pillow stays in with 10,157 votes! Bommy is out with 7,769 votes! What?! No! Not the law! Strongest team, your turn! Am I safe? Actually, yes! With 10,493 votes! And Snowball, my friend! Wow, right again! With 8,994 votes! You're nailing it so far, Grassy! Why don't you take over? Okay! Next thing is Grassy! Yep, already said that. Eight ball! Oh, Bommy! Wrong team, and also no! Here, I'll just do it. Basketball is safe with 8,476 votes. She was the next one I was gonna say! Hi, Bell! That was fun! Bell, robot flower, one of you is going home! Wait, where is Bell? Ah, uh, your string keeps going, Bell! Ah, uh, what's at the very top? Just cut this out and let me back down! It's none of your business! That may be true, but enough of this string nonsense. It's time to show the votes. Which cloud is for each of you, huh? Dun dun! Dun dun! Robot Flower survives with 4,219 votes. Bell, you're eliminated with 4,106 votes. I'm the one that put an end to Robot Flower's destruction plan! Yes! That means I'm safe! <laughs> This isn't fair. Sorry, Belle. If I can just get to your reset switch, I can get you hooked up to the machine. Out, 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 out. What? 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 Before Rami goes, we'd like to give him a farewell. And maybe a quick flight on a dragon. And we could, uh, do? Where'd he go? And Belle. W uh, I actually don't know. Bobby? Belle? Hello? Ah, who are you? Great idea! Let's get to know each other. Who is that? Poor Belle! Who you gotta find, Bommy? That is really odd, but, uh, I'm sure we'll find them, I think. I hope. In the meantime, everybody, it's the final 25, folks, which makes it the perfect time to do four teams of six. My thoughts exactly! Teams one. Alrighty, I'll leave this to you lot then. Go ahead and make your teams. I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'll open them whenever someone says something. Anything even. Huh? No! Eraser! I heard that, so that means you've made your new teams. 
and these are now locked in. What, but TP, grr, we didn't agree to this, so I'm the newest member of Teardrop? This is ridiculous. I mean, I can't be on a team by myself, but maybe I should get six lives. Just go over there for now, thanks. Yeah, this show just got 98% less beautiful. I demand to have special treatment. What are we gonna do, Eraser? We done with Blocky. We'll get through this too. Just don't get out. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Looks like a strong team. Except for this one. Whatever. TT's gone, and I need a new rival. Someone weak might be a new change of pace. Wanna be my new rival, Icy? No. Don't pick from our team. Pick someone over there. Bottle, you're going down. Hey, Buckus, I keep one of those people you have a pass with. Uh, sis, 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 sis. Sonic! You are being much louder than I was. Hey, Ice Cube. So, uh, how uh, are you? Uh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. The dream team stays together. Plus, new friends too to help us prevent that. No, our pact really could use some better management. Oh, 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 Guys, I have a hunch Pin wants to say something. Maybe I can be the heroic team leader we need. Yeah, good with me. Oh, I needed something like this for a while. My bro's gone! This is like Death Pact all over again! Don't worry, Pen. Tennis Paul and I are here for you. Speaking of which, what's wrong with him? TB and GB have never been on separate teams before. Calm down, Tennis Paul. We're here for you. Um, I meant to be the leader now that GB is gone? So much pressure! You, you can do this, TB. Uh, bottles are silly one, basketball can invent things for us, and I can take care of the physical stuff. Oh, yeah? Ow! Seriously, watch this! Ow! <laughs> See? That was the easiest thing ever! Oh, yeah? Yeah! That's over. Um, guys, I saw Bummy and Bell. Denied. Denied. After what you did with the other mechanical mine, I am too scared to be around you. I, that's fair, but guys, I saw one. And TV always sees ones and zeros. Yay. No, that's, that's not what I... Ah! And I'm here, too. And you're going down. TB, stay alive as long as you can so we can regroup in the next phase. In the meantime, I'll lead my new team to victory. Uh... I mean, we'll be equals. While still listening to my commands. A team where we all decide what to do. After intense consideration from me and me alone. Donut, you'd be an amazing leader for our team. I don't really know you guys, but I believe that over bossy ball. Hello! You good with that? I'd love to study a team with bad leadership. Sounds good. Best team ever! Yay! <laughs> So, what team names are you all going with? Let's start with you, Team One. <laughs> we'll be Death Pact yet again! Nice! Okay, so, Team Two. Huh? Are you sure? Hmm, I don't know. Does it work? I'm thinking... Mm. What? Huh? Okay, admittedly, it's growing on me. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. You've convinced me. You guys can be Team Two! Whatever. This sucks. Successfully sums us up as a team. Great name? Team Three, how about you guys? As the new team leader, uh... I will let TV make one. Team four, time for you to pick. Golf ball, what's wrong? Don't let me pick. Two, why don't you just pick for us? Hmm, okay. Well, I have been missing Cloudy a lot lately, so how about Cloudy? Yay! What? So those are our four team names. Death Pack yet again, Team 2, and Cloudier. I hope you're all excited for your teams in this next phase of The Power of Two!
let's get straight into your first challenge as new teams. For today's challenge, you'll be filling in these pits with whatever you can. We made sure to make these pits extra deep! Seriously, listen to this. Bye, X. <laughs> Bye, X. You can fill your pits with anything you can find. Something alive, dead, natural, or man-made. Even X, apparently. Just chuck it all in the pit. The team who have the most area in their pit filled wins a special prize for their team. The two teams who have the least area in their pit filled will be up for elimination. You'll have three minutes to complete this challenge, and the time runs out when the sand hits the bottom of this hourglass. That's right, this challenge is a short one. Any questions? Are there any supplies for... Uh, really? I'm just asking a question. Ahem, uh, two. Is there... Okay, clearly I'm the problem. So, uh, do we begin? Yep. Go! Wow! You two, find something large we can throw into our pit. Sure, but like what? Like the hotel? Please don't. We'll find something. Go, go, go! Tree, Fanny, we're gonna sabotage the other teams. What about me, Pin? Katie, try to find out what the special prize is from two. Everyone, go, go, go! <laughs> Let's go somewhere more casual. Fanny! Fanny? No! Hey, Fanny! I liked Four's idea of tossing eggs down the pit. Let's do it with Ice Cube! Let her down! Let her down! Let her down. Let Come on, go. stop that! Come on. Weakling. Hey, come on, we need to retrieve Ice Cube. We don't want to have a numbers disadvantage already. Uh, really? Is Ice Cube that useful? Come on, Snowball! Fine. Eraser, stay here and protect our pit. <gasps> oh, bored. Okay, now how to sabotage. Team, Yellowface has numerous products we can use to fill our pit. We can stash it in no time. Hello? Where is everyone else? I don't know, but check this out! Look, I'm Tennis Ball! Wow! What do you think? Take it off! <laughs> okay, so as team leader, I think we should, um, uh, well... Hello? I actually have an idea we can use! Donuts thinking, Golf Ball. Really, though, you need something soon. We're almost completely out of sand. Two, come with me! Honestly, Gatey, it's good to see you. All these new teams, this is gonna be hard to track. A new stage of the game me. Donut, we need an idea stat! Hurry, hurry! Well, now that two's distracted, how about this? Great idea, leader! But we still need to feel that you are of no help! Whatever, at least I have you, Tennis Face. Mm, you sure do! <laughs> No fair! Sabotaging her is my job! What? Ah! <laughs> my job is done. Not so fast! Wait, sorry. I am awfully sick of being stuck to things. Whatever. Black Hole and Mark are heading off to collect something giant for our pit. That grand prize is as good as ours. Someone! Go after them! I'm on it! Hey! No, I'm on it! Good thing you have so much glue on you. We can trap more people that way. I can't believe she's gone too. What is going on? Looking for Fanny, huh? She is my teammate, so stay out of the way. No, I saw her. Time for you to I, go bye-bye. Ah! Ah! No! Great. The more the merrier. We trapped her own flirt, flirt. Oh no. Wow. That was never gonna end. Wait, Pillow, what are you doing? Ah! Sorry, Ice Cube. It's strictly personal. Oh, hey, Taggy. She's in there. Fanny, uh, don't worry. I've actually been watching you guys for a while. I think we can help each other out. I understand, but how about for this? A new mouth, maybe? That's not how this works! Come on! I'm really doing you a favor here. Otherwise, you can just spend all day looking for your old mouth at the bottom of the ocean. Look, if you take the mouth, you just owe me a favor. That's all. I'm an old friend of two. Just here to help out one of two's friends. Phew. 
I hate your deals. Now go away! You got it. See you soon, Fanny. <gasps> Finally! I see you. Ah! Shh, be quiet. Missing your legs, I see. What? Who are you? Down to make a deal, I see. Oh, barf. Oh, barf. Phew. Hi, team. I'm ready to help. Leave us alone, Needle. I've got this. Huge. Which is why I will be taking it back for us! No. Stop! Hmm, not good enough. It's too damaged. Too 2020. Too zombie. Too music hall. Too out of this world. Too abandoned. Okay, we were only meant to have a few minutes to do this challenge, so next thing we see, we absolutely must take it back. I see! We found you! Huh? Where that shiny brand new pair of legs come from, Icy? A friend of two showed up! She offered me- Tiny rock! Whoa, Grassy, nice find. This rock could be worth millions. Oh, but also great for the pit. We could carve out these rocks from the moon and chuck them in. Everyone, smash! We might be team two now, but let's show everyone we're the new strongest team on Earth! <laughs> ah! And I mean that in a good way. But I need to help my team. Care to give me a boost, X? Sure. Hop on! I'll fly back up! Yay! Grr! No, no, no! Ouch! Woohoo! Grr! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Racer, you're so fun! I'll jump too! Yay! Ow! Yay! Ow! Yippee! Ow! Yes, no! Yay! Ow! Hooray! Ow! Yay! Ouch! Your ad dimension is so handy, yellow face! <laughs> Glad to be of service! You now owe me $421,240,683. Thanks for the stash, guys! <laughs> yeah, suddenly chatty and now she stales. I'm going back in, yellow face! More money for me? Hooray! Where are we? Is this David Land? We really need to grab something. Let's just take one and get out of here. <laughs> Marker, I'll save you. David, you're coming with me. Just cut it out! Tree! Tree, I swear, I saw Fanny just vanish! Just like Bobby and Bella! And I'm to believe this story when she's right there. What the? Oh, fine! Let's hear the story from her then! Danger, danger, I am being kidnapped. Stop! Our team must stick together and stay here near our pit. This is the worst day ever! Marker, where did you go? Black hole! Save me from this nightmare. Oh, yeah, I I'm all done with nightmares. Uh, how am I gonna... La 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 la. Uh, David, get annoyed. La 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 la. Thank you. Shh, keep it down. There's him. Oh, gosh, not again. And honestly, Gatey, I'm starting to question reality. I mean, these must be the longest three minutes of my life. Gatey, any update? Oh, I completely forgot. Uh, I was just having a chat with Two. Yeah, we were just catching up. Two, could you tell us the secret prize for this challenge? Oh, it's not a secret, it's just special. The prize is getting Robot Flower on your team. Robot, Robot Flower? Flower? Those Death Pack guys are gonna hate that prize. Oh, they'll resent my leadership, they'll- Calm down, it's okay. We just need to come second. <gasps> True. Come on, let's sabotage some more then. Bye, Two. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, Four. You wanna chat? Not to stress you out, but I have a feeling someone's been watching us all lately. And Thor? Thor, are you listening? No. Oh, well, as I was saying, I think- See ya. Oh, I was using that. Uh, okay. Oh, the pressure made the moon move slightly. Say, do we want pieces of the moon or the whole moon for the pit? Taggy's right! Everyone, push! <laughs> Maybe a run-up is all we need. Well, at least the moon is rolling! Good job, Icy! Ah! Wait! Too quick! Too quick! No, 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 no! <laughs> nice bouncing eraser! Let's double bounce so we can jump even higher! You're 
such a fun friend eraser. Get out of here! Oh, whatever. That's it. I have to get off of here. Ouchie! That's it! I'm heading back up one last time! You're not going anywhere, Tree! But I am! Blah, blah, blah. Cut it out! Learn <laughs> Two stacks this time, so Finn can't just run off with one stack. Yoink! What the? Not again! We're nearly out of time! Whew. Thanks, terrible leader! Winner! Please! We need your help! Please help us get our stuff back from those pesky death packs yet againers! I'm heading back in. Okay, sorry, golf ball, no help. Yippee! Hey, that stuff is ours. Oh, yeah? Well, it's an hour pit. Yeah! Get your own stolen stuff! Hey, guys. Let us down right now! <laughs> Must move tree. Wow! Where am I going? Back up I go! Whee! Lord! Ah, I'm taking it! Stop fighting! Don't you guys see that you'd be unstoppable together? Come on! He's right. I hate helping other teams! Sorry! Speaking of which, Black Hole, we've been dumping Yellowface's stash into our pit! We're definitely gonna win! That's great. I have this giant David to plop in as well. Wait, we found out the winning team gets Robot Flower. If we want to keep the pact going, she would be extremely unhelpful. That's true. Okay, so we're going for second? Uh, who should we help win then? Ooh, oh! Your team's now got our tree! You need to give it back! Shut up! Still a bit till we turn it. But when we need to, we'll be ready- ah! Ah! Needle! How could you? Did you not hear us? Give us the tree back! What are you talking about? No, wait! We need to stay with the hourglass! Hmm, I guess I could flip it. No. Give, give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back, give it back! We'll never get the moon into our pit if we don't slow it down! Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Get ready for a ton of hashtags, guys! Black Hole, why don't you throw the David into my team's pit? You stole all our stuff. It's only fair. Wait, oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! We've stopped! Everyone out! We're, We're the strongest, strongest team ever. ever! What a lovely little place. La la la. Wait! The challenge! Get over here, big piano! Can you toss him in our pit now? Okay. Third time lucky! Whoa! That stash was bigger than I thought! It's so high up! JB! A David is in there! He's red and angry from the stash! But as long as we don't drop anything else, I think we're good. We did it! Here to save the day! Oh, our moon! Now our pit has nothing in it! Eraser! Did you find anything? I found a racer, Snowball! That's it, you're all going in our pit! Wait, huh? I'm stuck! What's going on? We're all glued! And now so are you! Then we're all going in together! No, no! I'm not going down! No, no, no! Yes! Ouch! No! No, David, please stay, we need- Ah! Why does everyone walk away from me? I've never been more relieved for an hourglass to end. Longest three minutes ever. But the good news is that after the first round as new teams, you did- Oh, awful. Sorry, should have said it was bad news. Whatever, let's look at your pits. Death packed yet again. Your pit is filled with gadgets and the moon. Clearly the front runner for the challenge. Meaning you place first and get rewarded with Robot Flower. You guys are lucky. <sighs> Great. Team 2! Well, you have a few contestants in there. 
Not a ton, but area-wise, it's more than the other two because <laughs> and Claudier don't even have their own pits anymore, as the dividing wall has been completely obliterated. It'd be impossible to even count their area, meaning they both tie for fourth place. How, How can, can we, we possibly, possibly lose? lose? We, we made, made so many piles and we... Viewers, Claudier and <laughs> are up for elimination. You get one vote per team, so use your votes wisely. Use the poll in the description to cast the votes for the contestants you want safe. The contestants with the least votes on each team will leave the show. What a successful team swap. Things are all in order. I can go and check on my attunement park now. <laughs> oh no! Did you guys fall? Here, I can fix that wall back up and put you guys back in there. Please, 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 please! We've been, like, journeying for years. Do not put us back in that, like, prison. We could see another contest happening from inside. Can one of us join, pretty please? Uh, well, I guess I did let Teardrop join when Profile he asked, so... Okay, but only one of you, viewers, vote on one of these guys who came out of Four's head to join the power of two. Here they are. Vote me in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me join, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can join T-Pod. So I can join T-Pod. Please, it's been years since I've seen Ice Cube. Please let me join and see her. Vote me in. I'm ready for my next adventure. If I rejoin, I just want to make it to the final, well, you can guess the number. I don't really care. I may have made my team lose, but I've redeemed myself and helped my new friends. Now let me help a new team achieve victory. You should like vote me to prove how much I've changed. My hair's now rainbow. So now the stakes are like, like, like huge. My team was so pitiful. Please get me away from this classroom group. I'll do anything. So there you have it! Alongside the two teams up for elimination, you can vote someone from the exit to join the power of two. Use the poll in the description to cast your vote. What are you hiding? Hello, basketball. Let's 